Welcome back everyone. You may be in a position where for some reason your iPhone keeps telling you that it cannot connect to the App Store. Now this can happen for a couple of different reasons, but I'm going to tell you right now the easiest way to fix this is that if you're not able to access the App Store, if it just keeps telling you can't connect or you're not getting any of these things, I'm telling you right now the easiest way to fix this is checking your network connections. This is by far the main problem. Your iPhone is probably still fully functional. It's just your data connection that you're using just probably isn't working or it's slow that Apple can't even reach it, you know, depending on the you know area it's in. I'll give you an example. Yesterday I was doing those videos and I was kind of far away from the Wi-Fi router and my phones don't have SIM cards in them. So pretty much I wasn't able to access it. It still showed me I had Wi-Fi, but it wasn't able to load up the App Store. But that was mostly because I was extremely far away from the router and it was extremely slow you know Wi-Fi for the most part so even if you're getting signal what you want to do verify that you have a connection go to your Wi-Fi or cell connections in your settings tab and see that you're connected to Wi-Fi connection as you can see I'm connected to Wi-Fi all you want to do there is go into any other app go into Safari Snapchat Instagram whatever the case is and you want to make sure you're able to load up web pages send snaps receive snaps as long as you're actually able to go and load these specific things up then you can verify that it is not a soft or that is a not a and you can verify that it is not a network connection problem that you're having so that is a very important thing you have to keep in mind just verify that your network connection is good as long as you can access those things i would recommend going back into the Year app store and it should be working as of this point and as i mentioned before this is by far one of the easiest things you can do to actually fix this specific problem now let's say you went ahead and do did that and your network connection is fine and everything but your app store still isn't opening up well, in this case, what I'd recommend you doing is actually scrolling down from your status bar up here and seeing if you have any like things you have to go ahead and do in order to verify your identity or enable anything within your app store. There have been times where sometimes you have to go ahead and verify your phone number or something like that from the settings in order to actually access your iCloud account. A better way to kind of go through that is go into your settings. You want to find your name up here, click it. You want to click media and purchases. You want to go ahead and click either view account, password settings or whatever. And you want to go ahead and kind of read through here and kind of see exactly what it's telling you. If you're able to access your account, then you're set. But if you're not able to, what I would recommend doing is signing out. So click media and purchases, click sign out, and you should be able to sign back in, and then you should be able to go ahead and actually access your account. This is another huge thing I would recommend doing, is signing out of your iCloud account and then signing back in, and that should end up fixing the issue as well. But let's say you do that and it's still not working, Ultimately, what I would recommend doing at this point is pretty much seeing if there's an update available for your device. So go into your settings right here. You want to go into general settings, which is right here. Click software update and see if there's an update available. If there is an update available, I would recommend updating to it. And that probably will end up fixing the problem for a lot of people. There can be a situation where maybe it doesn't work for you. But time after time, from what I've seen, it does probably end up fixing it. And that's another huge thing that I'd recommend you guys to do. So that really pretty much covers it up. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so me so much if you guys get hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.